Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante, and on this episode of Food Deconstructed, we're gonna be taking apart the staple comfort food, chicken pot pie, and deconstructing it six ways. The first recipe we're going to deal with today is pot pie quesadillas with a pea guacamole. First thing we're going to start with is the actual guacamole. So what we have here is two cups of peas. We also have cayenne pepper and paprika. Give a little hint of spice to our dish. Salt, pepper, tarragon, and parsley. Now we start off with our food processor here. So we're going to take our two cups of thawed peas, place it in the food processor. A little bit of garlic throw them in our food processor. It's going to do all the work for us. Then we're going to take a handful of parsley. And then we're going to do a quarter cup of tarragon. Just throw it in the food processor. We're going to pop the top on. Now we're going to transfer it to a bowl now. Now next up we're going to add our spices. So we're going to do a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Next up, we're going to use the avocado. Take a masher. You can actually even use a fork at home if you want. Please make sure that it all comes together. You don't have to mash it very long. Just make sure it all mixes together nicely. You get a nice, smooth consistency. You're going to take a little salt and pepper to taste as a whole lemon. Remember to roll your lemon to get all the juice out of it. You can. Once that's in there, give it a little mix. Salt and pepper gets in there. That looks all mixed up. So we're going to set this aside. Now our next ingredient is going to be our chicken. So we're just going to use two large chicken breasts. Put this in the pan. So we just put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper on the outside. And that'll be the side that goes down first. The key to any good pan frying is as soon as this chicken goes into the pan, you're going to want to hear some sizzle. If you don't hear any sizzle, it's not hot enough yet. The pan's just about heating up. Again, you should hear that sizzle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit on one side for three to five minutes. I'll put a little extra salt on the other side because I am going to flip it and a little bit of pepper. So we flip this a couple times. Everything is nice and golden brown. Should this be about done? And that will be for later. Next up, we're going to make the filling. One small white onion, three carrots, a cup of cottage cheese, a cup of jack cheese, one of my favorites, and then we'll bring the chicken in a little bit as well. So we're going to start off and use this whole onion. We're going to dice it finely for ourselves. Now once this is all diced up, we'll throw it in the same pan that we took the chicken in. So we're just going to take some of these, throw them in the pan, share a nice little sizzle. We're going to cook these up until they become almost translucent. Now we're going to dice these carrots, let those two flavors meld together. You're going to cook those carrots about until they get just nice and tender for you. Next up, we're going to dice some of our chicken. You can do whatever type of chicken you want. You want to shred it, but we're going to dice it. Give it that old school chicken pot pie square feeling. So we're going to add our chicken. Now I'm going to add both breasts. We're going to get this all together. You got the onion, you got the sweetness of the carrot. Now, like I said before in the filling, we're going to have a cup of jack cheese. Give it that Spanish flair. A cup of cottage cheese, a little more tarragon, a little more parsley. A tablespoon of each to be exact. The difference between tarragon this time and tarragon last time, we're actually going to mince it a bit. So, mincing, just getting it small pieces, not quite dicing. You almost want to give it a little bit of a crush prior to cutting into it. Blends into our filling a lot better. Next up is parsley. We're going to mince this up as well. Once you cut into these herbs, you can just smell them. The aroma just seeps out of them. All right, so we get a bowl, mix everything together in. So we're going to bring this off. This tasty chicken, onion, and carrot. Now we're going to add a cup of our jack cheese. Make sure we get a cup of our cottage cheese. Now obviously the cheeses, these two cheeses are going to add to the creaminess of our filling. Next up, the tarragon and parsley. I'm gonna mix these up. Make sure you fold in the chicken, the carrots. You can smell all those beautiful flavors. 
Okay, the last piece of our puzzle is we're actually gonna put all these ingredients together and make the quesadilla. We use our grill pan to kind of create a little bit crispier edges on our quesadilla. And we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan here, let that heat up. Now we're gonna use our flour tortillas, but we're gonna do the folded version today. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on our pan, let that get heated up. We're gonna place the mixture directly to the center of the tortilla and just spread it over one half of the tortilla. So we're just gonna fold it over now, get nice and browned up, bring in our quesadilla to the cutting board. We're gonna cut this into wedges, create a little presentation for ourselves. Now, we bring back in the guacamole. We'll put it off to the side here a little bit. Looks good, smells good, Let's see how good it tastes. A little bit of this guacamole on here. That's really, really good. You get the crunchiness from the tortilla, which kind of creates almost that pastry type taste. The guacamole adds so much, it's like a sweetness to it. And then obviously you have the creamy chicken inside. Again, the essence of a pot pie. You can taste the tarragon, you can taste the parsley. This is, this is really good. Well, stay tuned for our next episode. We're gonna make vegetarian chicken pot pie stickers. See you then.